Hello friends. So far we have seen how to solve quadratic equations. There were multiple methods we have seen. We have seen factorization method. We have seen Sridhar Acharya's rule, you know, uh, completing the square method and others. Now thing is, let us say we have an equation which is not quadratic. Let's say here is an example. x to the power 4 minus 10x square plus 9 equals 0. So it is clearly a biquadratic equation. So the degree of the polynomial on the left hand side is 4, right? So will the rules which we have learned in quadratic equation help here? So it is clearly not a bi uh, quadratic equation, but if you see, uh, I can reduce it by some assumption to a quadratic form. And was it? it? what is it? So let us say, let us assume y to be equal to x squared. Okay, so hence now this equation can be reduced to quadratic form and what will that be? So x squared square, I can write this as this minus 10 x square plus 9 equals 0, isn't it? Now what? You have to just simply put y in place of x square. So it will be y square minus 10 y plus 9 equals 0. Now clearly it is quadratic. This is a quadratic form. And quadratic in what? Which variable? Y. Variable here is Y. We have been familiar with the solving equations with variable X. But how does it matter? Whether you call it X, Y, T, S, A, whatever. If it, you know, uh, satisfies this kind of a pattern, then it's a quadratic equation, right? So now easily I can adopt any of the methods which we have learned, either the Sridharacharya's rule, quadratic formula rule, factorization rule. So uh, in my experience, I have seen that most of the quadratic equations uh, related to, let's say, an exam or something, until unless it is real, you know, you're designing some uh, factory equipment or something, a real life situation. Until unless it's a real life situation, most of the time, in any comparative exam, you will see that the most of the quadratic equations will be solved by factorization method itself. So be very thorough with that method. Okay, so here I can split the middle term and write that as y square minus. 9y minus y plus 9 equals 0, right? Now you can take commons. So hence, y times y minus 9 and minus 1 times y minus 9 equals 0. So hence, this becomes y minus 9 times y minus 1 equals 0. That means y is either 9 or y is 1. Now what was y? We never wanted y, we wanted x, right? So hence we can now say x square is 9, right? Or x is 1, x square is 1, so, sorry, x square is 1. That means x square minus 9 equals 0 or x square minus 1 equals 0 or I can say x minus, uh, x square minus 3 square is 0 or x square minus 1 square is 0, right? Again, I can factorize this as x minus 3, x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 1, x plus 1 equals 0. Now, you know the solution to these quadratic equations. So, either x is equal to 3 or x equals to minus 3 or here x equals to 1 or x equals to minus 1. So, there are four roots. Obviously, now you can see the initial equation was a power 4 equation. So, by quadratic, it's power 4. So it was expected that there it could be having four solutions and hence we are getting four solutions. What all? x equals to 3, s equals to minus 3, x equals to 1 and x equals to minus 1. Right? Similarly, if I take another equation, let's say I am taking this equation 25 a to the power 4 upon x square plus x squared is equal to 26 a square. Now clearly if you see, it is not a quadratic equation. It is not a quadratic quadratic equation. Why? Because x square is there in the denominator, right? So hence, this is not a quadratic equation, right? But can it be reduced to? Yes, of course, but what to do? So let us say, let me say I'm taking x square as y again. So what will this equation be reduced to? So hence you'll see it is nothing but 25 a to the power four, Okay, 25 a to the power 4 divided by y, okay, plus y is equal to 26 a squared. Now you take common denominator, so what will this become? 
25a to the power 4 plus y square upon y, isn't it? In the left hand side. And this is 26a square. Now cross multiply and reduce it to 25a to the power 4 plus y square is equal to 26a squared y. And if you now see, by now you will realize that it is reduced to a quadratic equation like this, correct? Plus, and I can write this as 5a square square, isn't it? This is equal to 0, right? Or you can leave it to, uh, leave it as 25a square a to the power 4 itself because this is going to help you, right? So hence, right? 25 a to the power 4 now again it's it is a quadratic equation in y so simply use any of the methods you know i will use the factorization method i'll write y square minus a square y minus 25 a square y plus 25 a to the power 4 equals 0 this implies y you take common so you'll get y minus a square then minus 25 a square common and you'll get y minus a square is equal to zero right so hence you'll get y minus a square times y minus 25 a square is equal to zero and that means y is equal to a square and y is equal to or or y is equal to 25 a square can be written as 5 a whole square that means x square is equal to a square or x square is equal to 5a whole square isn't it that means x is equal to plus a or minus a like the previous case you'll get two values here and here x will be plus 5a or minus 5a these are the four solutions to the given equation right so what is the learning if you see i can reduce any you know such such type of equation into a quadratic form and solve according to the rules of quadratic equation or the methods adopted for solving quadratic equation and here also there are four roots four roots okay so that's how uh, these kind of equations could be solved